let's start. Today we will see how to implement the MACD histogram in the TradingView Pine script. The histogram is the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name MACD histogram. Here, we take the user inputs for the fast, slow, and signal lengths. Then we calculate the fast and slow moving averages. We use the exponential moving average function for this. Then we calculate the MACD and the signal line. Then we calculate the histogram, which is the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. Then we calculate the color of the histogram. If the histogram is above the zero line and is rising, then we color it dark green. If the histogram is above the zero line and is falling, then we color it a faint green. If the histogram is below the zero line and is falling, then we color it dark red. If the histogram is below the zero line and is rising, then we color it faint red. And finally, we plot the MACD, signal line, histogram, and zero reference line. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, along with the MACD in the signal line, we have our histogram here. You can see the various histogram colors according to their rise and fall. Above and below the zero line. So that's it. That's how you can implement the MACD histogram in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.